Bible Work Pool Party with Nitty Gritty. How's it going today? Good, I'm doing well. Yeah? A little sick, but I'm not sure. How's your main music week going so far apart from the, the sickness? I mean, apart from you wake up and just do your thing, it's been really fun. Um, so many cool people out here, like friends, and the whole squad came in from LA, and you know, it's been fun. I'm glad, I'm glad. Um, so, what are your plans so far for this week? Well, what can you expect from your upcoming shows? Um, so I started my show at Hangar on Monday, that was like a nitty gritty and friend, it was really fun. Um, and then yesterday we did the Say My Name uh, kind of takeover thing, that was really fun. And then right now we're at Bybor, later I'm going to play uh, Diplo's party, and then tomorrow is Shaq's Funhouse. Saturday is, what's Saturday? I don't even know what's Saturday. What's Saturday? Dada Life, Rave Spa, and then Sunday is Gold Rush, hard to leave, so it's like... Yeah. Nice to see you prepared with the whole outfit, the nice whole makeup that's going on. Mm -hmm. um, so you were born here in Miami, um, you can definitely see that. Oh, I'm sorry, you were raised in Miami. I, well, no, I actually moved here in 2011, 2012. But all my, I lived in Haiti for eight years, so my Haitian friends were all in Miami. And then I guess I've just been bred as a Miami person now for the past like, you know, seven years. Do you think you incorporate that into your music? Yeah, I mean, I, I literally feel like I made the song move to Miami for Enrique and Pitbull, so that was kind of like literally while living here, just thinking of like cool Miami sounds, so always. That's very cool, very cool. And um, when you do have your sets, when you're creating your music, what kind of mood do you have to be in, and what kind of mood do you like to create for your listeners and people that come to see you at your shows? I mean, Nitty Gritty is kind of like a party, it's just like a lot of fun. I don't know, it's like I can play almost anything I want, that's fine, I have the freedom to like do play really heavy dubstep or play like Usher, you know what I mean? Like there's just no in between, it doesn't matter. Anything that's really fun. And you're, you're constantly working, you're heavily involved in a lot of projects. I see you're going on a tour soon. I tell yeah. you being very, very busy. Um, what, do you, what, do, what do you want to show to all these people that are going to be seeing you please, for these couple of events? I mean, mainly just new music, unreleased uh, songs that I have, and then edits and like, weird bootlegs and stuff. I, I really love like, Surprising and tricky people in my sense, where it's just like you could have known the song, but you've never heard it in the way that I played it, or you've never heard the song that I have coming out later on. It's just like it's really fun to surprise people at home in, in the sense. That's cool. That's cool. And where do you find all this energy to just keep going and to try new things and just be out there? I mean, if you love something, you'll look good with whatever you want to do. That's it. Nice. What was your first show, your first visitor show as a Nazi performer? Um, just like as we uh, uh, attending? Yes. I honestly can't remember the very first one. You know what's it's surprising as a DJ? I've only actually bought tickets to probably four shows in my entire lifetime. Like I always, whenever I would go to a show, I would literally be there and think, thinking the whole time I just want to be performing. So it's like hard, unless I literally love an artist, to like go to a show and not be like, I'm going to be up there right now. So it's like the first. Honestly, I have no idea what my first like, concert was. Probably like some like old rock show, like you know, like nineties or some like metal band. I have no idea. That. That's a good time. That's not good show. Sure. It makes no sense. It's not what I do. But I'd rather play the show. Almost. No, I completely yeah. see that. I completely see that. And when you're performing at your shows, what is the atmosphere that you enjoy creating? And how do you how do you tend to do that? I mean, I like pulling people through like a a kind of a trail. So it's like I. I definitely want to have like raging mosh pits going on, and then I also like when people can actually dance, shake their ass, whatever, jump around. So it's like some somehow like in a set going from whatever those like it's like basically letting out what I felt like letting out. Like I'm, I'm definitely gonna to want to let out my energy of like going crazy and headbanging, but then I'm also gonna to want to like chill and play something that makes me just want to dance. So it's like try to keep those two together. So you like to dance? I'm not good at it. I mean, more of other people dance. I'm good at raging, but... <laughs> it's very exciting, very exciting. <laughs> can you see a little one step, two step?
Thank you guys, stay tuned, it's gonna be a good week.